everyone, welcome back. So I have some fall must-haves from all categories, from shoes, clothes that I love, candles that I love, some facial treatments that I love, lip products, blushes, we got the whole nine yards. I love fall, the weather in Texas doesn't necessarily cooperate, so what I like to do is just go ahead and make my own fall a reality for myself. These products I'm gonna show you are my favorite things to pull out in the fall. Some are some new products, some are some old faithfuls, so I kind of wrapped them all together to bring you a fall must-haves for the season. I wanna start with something super cool from Foreo. Now, if you want the best of beauty technology combined together for like spa, like 90 second facials at home, this thing is going to be your new best friend. This is called the UFO by Foreo, and this is an LED thermal activated smart mask. Now, when I was first approached by Foreo with this awesome opportunity, thank you so much to Foreo for partnering with me on this video. I was so intrigued because it's unlike anything that I've seen in the beauty industry thus far. So basically what you do is if you love sheet masks, I love sheet masks, but sometimes you forget about them and you have to have them on for a really long time. This makes it super easy. Plus this has hyper infusion technology, so it has pulsations and it does hot and cold pulsations. It also has red, green, and blue light technology. So what you do is you take, these are the Foreo, this, they have like a make my day, a day, and a night mask. Each mask has something different, like this one is the hyaluronic acid red algae. So you basically take the sheet mask out. There are seven sheet masks. You can get this at Sephora. And you rip it open, you put it on your face, and then you take this off right here. Look push the button down, you can see the light therapy already. You put it around your face 90 seconds. Has the pulsation if you can hear it. So what that's gonna do is boost the mask's effectiveness for deeper results in your skin. Now it moved on to the green. I was wondering what UFO stood for because it is a very like kind of like out there. It's the first of its kind. So I thought maybe that was like what they were going for, but it stands for your future obsession. Like you are your future obsession. It has 10,000 pulsations a minute. The LED light helps, like I said, to go deeper and penetrate the skin. So you're going to get better results. And also the pulsations do provide like a nice relaxing massage. It's really nice if you're a mom and you can't get out to facials and also if you don't want to just keep spending the money on facials they are nice and relaxing but you can do it 90 seconds at home I just think this is a really really cool thing so like I said there are the two sets of masks that you can purchase now these are designed to go with the UFO and they have the make my day which is the day mask and then call it a night so this one has ginseng and olive oil in it and it is a revitalizing and nourishing. So really, really cool. If you're interested in this Foreo UFO, I will leave the link in the description box below. Let's talk candles because I love a good candle. You guys know if you've watched my channel for a long time, I'm a sucker for these <laughs> anthropology candles. Not only do I think they're absolutely gorgeous, I the packaging is just like beautiful. I think they're just so fallish to me. Even just sitting, I have them displayed on my mantle, which I will have a video where I show you guys my finished mantle in my vlog last month. I sort of showed like what I was starting on my mantle and this month I kind of finished it and these are somewhat displayed inside my mantle. I burn one of these all the time. This is called Fall Leaves. These are the Capri Blue candles from Anthropology. This one, I have not started to burn yet. I have another one that got pumpkin spice one from Anthropology that I just finished up. This is my next on the rotation. This smells like if you mix the leaves candle, the autumn candle, marshmallow fireside, and like sweater weather from Bath and Body Works. If you mixed all those together and then got this candle, and then also this just the scent just throws so well. I can light up like a whole living space with this. It just, is, the second you walk into my house, you can smell my candle, even if it's in another room. It just smells so good. 
and it's not like so overpowering that it gives you a headache but it is very very fragrant and they last a really long time and plus like I said they're beautiful and the jar alone is beautiful like even when I'm done burning them I just kind of have them sitting all over the house I need to figure out something to do with the jar but maybe prop it up and put like a pumpkin on it in the fall and like use the bottom as like a base to stack the pumpkin I don't know what but the the candles are amazing. I highly recommend them. They're for sure a must have. Okay, let's talk fashion. So I think I've worn this sweater in every single color because I pretty much bought it in every single color. I bought it in this color, a reddish color, uh, a navy color, this mustard color, and I think that was it. But this sweater is from American Eagle. I have it in the large, so that's what I got, the large size. And I would say it's pretty big in the large. It's a very, um, I, I, if you're my size, which you guys probably don't know what size I am because you never really see my lower half, but if you are slightly my size, I would say the large is a good size. It, it almost fits like an extra large is what I'll say. It runs a little bit big in my opinion. So this one is the large, uh, and I do have the navy blue one in the extra large, and that's actually a little bit too big. But this is from American Eagle. I think I already said that. But it just has, like, these cute little racing stripes on the arm and really cute, like, detail buttons. It's casual. It's lightweight ribbed, but it's not, like, too heavy. It's perfect in Texas because it's, like, a light sweater. It almost feels like you're wearing just like a t-shirt because it's not like too hot and heavy. I can't have anything too hot and heavy. Um, but it's it's cute and they have a lot of really great fall colors. So this one I'm wearing right here I love a lot but this mustard color I love a lot too. This is in the color honey. I know that offhand I forget what color this one is but again it has like the racing stripes and everything. So I love this so much and I have one other fashion item for you well no I guess I have two because I do have this is Miranda Fry this, this is my friend Dana you guys know I always talk about Dana on my channel this necklace is named after her it's called the Dana and I mentioned it before but it's just a really nice dainty necklace and then it has like the uh, sort of these two little things that hang down. I just think it's so cute and easy to wear. It's a perfect, like, it does the layering for you because it's all one necklace, all in one. So if you're someone who likes the layered look, it's already there for you and layered for you and you don't have to wear a bunch of necklaces. It's just one necklace in one. I love it so much. Uh, it, like I said, it, since it's so dainty, I really just feel like it goes with everything. So I think they have it in gold and silver. Um, I do have a discount code for Miranda Fry if you guys would like to use it. It's 10% off and free shipping in the U.S. My code is LOLA. Just capital letters, LOLA. If you like dainty jewelry, though, this is definitely a must-have for sure. Now, the last thing that I have in fashion-related, and then we're going to get to beauty. This is from the brand A New Day. I kept the box so that I could show you guys. These are in eight and a half, and I just thought they were the cutest. So these are like leopard flats. I already have like a piece of my hair on them. I get my hair everywhere. If it's not my hair, it's my daughter's. I got them in eight and a half. I typically wear between an eight and an eight and a half. And, but these, I felt like, the, I like the open style of them. And they're just really pretty really pretty leopard it's I feel like the way that they're not like completely circular leopard part print but they're almost like you know what I'm talking about like it's like elongated instead of like circular leopard I feel like circular more circular leopard looks cheaper to me and these just look stylish so anyways this sweater and like these cute little flats with some like ripped jeans or some jeans super cute I love these shoes so much and I definitely think leopard is totally like in small doses in your outfit is definitely a really like nice piece to mix in and I got those for 19 bucks at Target so definitely check those out really good price if you're looking for some really nice like leopard to sort of mix into your wardrobe and I definitely think it's hot for fall one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes this season has been this little quad from Patrick Star. This is the MAC and um, Patrick Star collaboration. This is the quad in Overpacked. 
I did a full look on this and honestly, I just love this quad so much. It has four, well obviously it's a quad, so it has four shades in it, but I love this like deep maroon shade. I'm wearing it it on my eyes today and then this like sparkly golden shade it's almost like this peachy golden it's really really beautiful and it makes a really pretty uh look to the center of your eye so i do have that on the center of my eye and then this is a nice transition color it's not too warm it's a little bit more on the cool side but then you have this shade right here to warm everything up and then this is like a deep dark brown but it almost is like a blackened brown it's really really pretty a little bit again more cool toned so i just love this i love every time the how the look comes out and i think it's very nice and fall appropriate typically you know you go with a lot of warmth in the fall because you're thinking of like mimicking like the leaves and all that kind of thing but i do really just like this because it does have a little bit of some cooler shades as well but if i do want to get that warmth this isn't too overpowering and it's not like an orange eye that's the typical thing that i go for but this has just been really a must-have for me this season i have two lip products i want to share with you the first one is what i'm wearing right now this is from elf and this is their liquid lipstick in the modern metals collection this shade is called I honestly can't find the name anywhere. It doesn't really even have the name, but it's this really very comfortable to wear orangey lipstick and this just a liquid lipstick and I like it because the formula is super comfortable. It's nice and long wearing. It's matte. It really is one of the most comfortable formulas ever. It's light, but it still is opaque. Um, it's not like super crazy opaque. I I think it's very user friendly honestly for a liquid lipstick i really love this color a lot it has a really nice doe foot applicator and it's super affordable so it just has that really beautiful like rust color i love it so much and then my go-to always is mac rebel and i talked about this in a video and so many of you guys have been messaging me and saying that you bought mac rebel because of it but if you're looking for a really great berry shade that is the perfect berry ever it's such a beautiful lipstick and every single time it turns even the slightest bit fall i pull out mac rebel because it is just it's always a go-to for me so Anyways, those are my two favorite. I love wearing more of like this rusty like leave looking color and then mixing it up with a berry. But these are just always what I stick to in the fall. My last favorite is a blush. This is from Laura Geller. I love Laura Geller blushes. I just think they're beautiful. This is a really pretty shade in pink grapefruit. It's a nice berry, but it has bronze and some veining through it. It gives a little bit of shimmer and color to the cheeks, but it's not too overpowering. You can wear it when you're wearing more warm things or more cool things, so that's why I love it a lot because it's just a really nice neutral berry shade. So there is a swatch of it. I just love it. It gives a nice little glow. Even if you didn't want to wear a highlighter, this is definitely a blush that you could wear and get away with not wearing a highlighter with just because it does give such a nice live glow to the skin. That is it for my must-haves for the fall. Don't forget to check any links down below of products that I mentioned. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave some of your fall must-haves. I'd love to know your favorite blushes or your favorite candles if you have some really awesome candles or your favorite like spa treatment or facial products that you like let me know in the comments down below please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i'll see you all in the next video Mwah.